Welcome to another amazing week of Kids Online. This week we are learning about Disciples Made, so get those listening ears ready and let's go. We're going to spend some time now worshipping God. And so why don't you stand to your feet, close your eyes, raise your hands, fix your attention on Him. Come on. Who am I that the highest King would welcome me? I will 
was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love. Come on, who the sun sets free. Who the sun sets free. Oh, is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Free at last. While I was a slave to sin, Jesus died for me. Yes, He died for me. Who the Son? Who the Son sets free? Oh, is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Thank you, God. Wherever you are, raise your hand. Come on, let's press in just for a few more moments. Thank you, Jesus, that you're in this room with us, that you love us. Thank you for your presence, God. We love you so much. I am chosen, Come on, let's sing. I am who you say I am. I am, who you say I am. And you are for me. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me. Not against me, I am who you say I am. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. Oh, I am who you say I am. Yes, I am who you say I am. Sunset free, oh, it's free indeed. I'm a child of God, yes, I am. In my father's house, in my father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God, yes, I am. Nations kids, attention! Matthew 28 verse 19 Matthew 28 verse 19 Therefore go make disciples Therefore go make disciples Of all nations Of all nations Baptizing them Baptizing them In the name of the Father In the name of the Father And the Son And the Son And the Holy Spirit And the Holy Spirit At ease Today, we're going to be exploring the second part of our nation's church mandate. Do you know what it is? That's right, it is disciples made. Let's get into it. Do you know what a disciple is? One of these statements is correct, and I want you guys to try and figure out which one is the right one. A disciple is somebody who will only go walking outside if they have an umbrella with them. A disciple is somebody who fights off bad guys whilst having bare feet. Or a disciple is a follower or student of a teacher or leader. So what one do you think it is? Do you think it's one, two, or three? 
If you think it's number one, I want you to put your hand on your head. If you think it's number two, put your hands on your belly. And if you think it's number three, put your hands on your knees. I'm pretty sure you got that right. It was number three. So if your hands were on your knees, you got that correct. So why do we have to make disciples? Well, as you just heard in our memory verse just before, in Matthew 28 verse 19, it's right at the very start of the verse. It says, therefore, go and make disciples. That's the first part of our verse. This verse is very important though, because what it is, is it's actually Jesus instructing his disciples on how to do things. This is Jesus actually telling the people that he was discipling to go out and make more disciples so that they will go out and teach other people exactly what Jesus taught them. Let's picture it this way. Imagine Shiloh from our Port Kennedy campus heard a really funny joke. So she went out and she told Ruby from Belmont, she told Darius from Myrie, and she told Adina from Scarborough. Now four people know the joke, and let's imagine that they find it absolutely hilarious too. So those three people who just heard the joke go and tell another three people each the joke. And then nine people know the joke. And then those nine people thought it was really funny as well, so they went and told another three people. And then 27 people know the joke. And then they went and told another three people. And now 81 people know the joke. And then they went and told three people, and I don't even know what the number is next because so many people know this funny joke now. Well, that is exactly the same way it works with making disciples, except rather than telling people funny jokes, we're actually teaching them and telling them about the way that Jesus instructed us to live. I want you guys to take a quick look around the room, or if you're watching online, you can look at me and look at all the people who are wearing a shirt like this. Now, the reason why we're here isn't just to play with the fun toys or to get out of big church because the, the message is too hard to listen to with all its big words. No, it's none of that at all. The reason why we are here is because you guys are our disciples. We're here because we wanna teach you all about Jesus and the way he instructed us to live. That's why we do what we do. So I want you to think hard today about two things. Number one, am I being a disciple? Ask yourself that, am I being a disciple? Are you listening to what the leaders in your life are teaching you about Jesus? Are you applying the, the things that Emily or that Jardina or that myself or that Ange are teaching you? Are you actually taking that and putting it in your life or are you choosing not to apply it? Because it's very important that when we say disciples made, that we're actually thinking about making a disciple in our own life as well. My second point is, are you making disciples? I'm sure there's people in your life who love Jesus, but maybe don't quite understand or don't know as much as you do. You can actually get alongside them and help them in that. You don't have to be a leader in kids church to go and sit next to someone younger than you and maybe teach them how to pray or give them some advice on how to read their Bible or things like that. That's a very important way that we can make disciples as well. So I want you to have a big think this week about who in your life you could help make a disciple Jump, it is so important that we fully understand our nation's church mandate. Last week, we learned about lost found. This week, we've learned about disciples made. And next week, we're gonna be learning all about what it means to see nations reached. But before we get to that, we're gonna finish off today in prayer. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear Lord, we thank you that we can learn all about our nation's church mandate and most importantly, the great commission that you have called us towards, Father. We pray that during this week, we will be able to listen to your word more and become better disciples and then also make better disciples. In the mighty name of Jesus and every single kid said, Amen. So boys and girls, today we are going to play one of my favourite word games. It's called Scattergrees. The way it works is we get given a random letter and need to fill in this worksheet with all different categories. We need to pick words starting with our given letter. For example, if my letter's A and it's a boy's name, I might pick Adam and I go and fill the whole list. The catch is you only have one minute and you also can't get any of the same answers as the people you're competing with. Every time you get an answer that has the right letter and that nobody else has, you get a point. The aim is to see who has the most points at the end. 
give me a thumbs up if you think you want to have a go. Awesome. Well, Jardina and I are going to show you how it's done. Then you can have a go wherever you are. Let's get started. All right. Jardina, are you ready? I'm so ready. Should we turn our brains on? Yeah, let's do it. Brains mm. on, thinking power happening. Ma. All right, I feel Ma. like I'm ready. <laughs> Jardina's still getting ready. I'm ready. Let's have a look and see what letter we're going to get. Oh, yeah. It's going to be an M. I reckon T. An M. M, you are right! Oh my, oh my gosh, goodness! Let's go. All right, whew. let's get All started. Right. M. How many we got? Boys okay. and girls, I wonder if you got more than us because this was a hard one, wasn't it? It was a little bit. All right, what boy's name did you get? I said Melchizedek. Oh, that is a long yes. name. I just said Mark. <laughs> Both of us get a tick. Girl's name? Molly. Michelle, well done. Type of food, McDonald's? I did Mexican. Oh, see, much healthier than McDonald's. City or country? I did a country called Malta. What did you do? I did a city in Melbourne. Oh, Melbourne! Yeah, yeah. great. Um, I did something you would see on a farm. A moo cow? Is that allowed? Uh, I think there's some points for creativity. Great. <laughs> Give I, it a uh, tick. I left that one blank. Didn't know. No moo cows for no. you. No. Okay. Molly tree. <laughs> tree. Um, a colour mauve. Yes, I did the same. Oh, did you really? Oh, wow. No, no point, point for that one. A sport. I did not get a sport. <laughs> yeah, no. Boys and girls, can you think of a sport starting with M? I no, no nothing idea. comes to mind. An animal. I did a moose. I did a mammoth. Oh, a mammoth. Very clever. Type of transport. I had nothing. I actually got motorcycle. Well done, Jardina. Uh, I'm very impressed with myself. Something under the sea. Ah, uh, nah. Me neither. Yeah. Nothing. Can Zippo. Nada. Nix. Something you wear, nothing again for me. Makeup. Makeup, yeah. clever. Thinking outside the box. Me. Something you learn at school, I said math. Me too. Oh man, um, cross that one out. She said modern history. <laughs> Person in the Bible. I had Mary. I did Monica. Oh yes, we both get a point. Yeah, the M's to choose from though, like Matthew, Mark. Oh, yep. Malachi. <laughs> All of the M's. Uh, a sports team, I have the Mavericks. Yeah. Who are they? They're a basketball team. <laughs> Ask so. Archer, he'll tell you. And I did the Magpies. Magpies, AFL, magpies. well done. And action, I had nothing. No, I would, yeah, nothing, nothing. No, none. Well, let's count up our ticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight ticks. How many ticks and did you get? I got nine. Oh, Jardina's the winner. Well done, Jardina. Now you guys, I reckon, could do even better than us. So if you want to, this sheet will be on the YouTube video. You can download it and play it at home with your friends and family. Good luck. Wow, I loved hearing Matt's message. How did you guys go with categories? Did you get more answers than me? Have a great week and we'll see you next time.